Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing a beauty kind of haul and review. Um, now, there is a bit of a backstory to this and I will quickly tell you the backstory. of. I was um, asking my lovely friend, sister from another mama, Mr. Aisha, what is the best kind of primer to use. I absolutely loved Smashbox when I got that from the Feel Unique samples. I absolutely loved it. Um, I would actually go ahead and buy a full bottle of that. It's something that I do want to do, but I was looking for a cheaper alternative and I should actually recommended The Ordinary Primer. So it is actually with a pipette. I don't really use the pipette, to be honest with you guys, although it does come out of the pipette. I just scoop it out and I just put it on my skin and then just rub it in. It is lovely. The texture of this is very much like Smashbox. It's very um, soft to touch. It leaves your skin feeling very soft, very smooth. And it actually feels very nourishing on the skin as well. It feels a little bit like water-based when you put it on your skin, but it just dries in beautifully. I love it. If, if I was to describe how the actual serum inside feels, feel the bottle. It has that same kind of soft textured feeling as the actual product on your skin. But I went ahead and bought the Ordinary Foundation as well. It's like, again, it's like a serum. If you hear, it, it actually sounds so liquidy, but when it comes out onto the sponge, it, it does blend in really, really nice. Now, I wouldn't say it's full coverage, guys, but when you add the Ordinary Concealer on top, it just gives it a really nice, smooth finish. At the minute, guys, I am struggling with my skin, uh, with my makeup in general, because my skin is very oily at the minute. So these are quite oily when you put the com a combination of the three together. So I found that when I've applied all three of these, although it looks very smooth, um, and at the minute it, it, it kind of looks even and everything, it is oily so if i was to get a bit sweaty like i am at the minute because i'm going through the change and i was to just wipe my forehead you would find that i would have a big white patch where i've wiped it off so that was my issue and i did that's them guys so i did say to aisha what do you recommend as far as powder is concerned because i did she knows that i don't sit well with powders i never use setting powder or anything like that i know that she said that ciate is very good as well um but price wise i just thought it was really expensive but i wanted a natural powder that i could put over the top of my foundation and concealer and it'd set it and there'd be none of this if i get sweaty you know it all slips off kind of thing and she actually recommended this brand to me so thank you to Aisha the moon and stars on YouTube if you're wondering I will link her down below she has tested all kinds of makeup and I trust her recommendation so she said why don't you try Laura Geller so that's where we're going today guys so I said Laura Geller I have heard of it but I've never tried it she went just try the baked foundation she uses porcelain porcelain and I said I want to keep it as light as I can possibly do it but for my skin tone she did recommend that I go the one up from porcelain but I thought you know I'm going to try porcelain and then I, if I like this I can always go one up and so forth now this is what it looks like compact it comes in a box like this guys and it's 25 pound you can actually buy bundles of Laura Geller over on QVC, which Aisha did mention before I went ahead and bought this elsewhere, that I could go on to QVC and possibly buy more than just this for the money. But I didn't listen, but I did bear it in mind because I do buy elements from QVC. So it looks like this, as you can see at the back, it says porcelain and it's a bake and balance bright. So it's baked, balance and brighten porcelain baked foundation. So this is actually a foundation. But as you can see guys, I demolished it. I absolutely demolished it. And I actually said to Aisha, I've never done that with a, with a makeup product. Apart from Leishner, when I used to use that as in my teenage years, but like for the past maybe 15 years, I have never done that. Now I know everybody's skin type's totally different. I have a combination skin, guys. So I go through summer with, well, coming into summer with oily skin, and in the winter I have very dry skin. So my dry skin's ended now, and I am now starting with this oily skin. So, um, but I've had this since last 
think it might have been last summer guys and i have actually used it all now so it's been empty for about four weeks guys and i've waited the longest time for my other one to arrive which is here mix at first i tried it on top of my foundation i was using the nyx one which was the portulain color as well and i was using this as a setting powder after that and it worked but I felt like my makeup was, was layers of it on. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to try it without. So what I started doing was putting my concealer on first. Now I was using the Ordinary. Now I've kind of run out of this now, guys. There's a tiny bit left. I was using the Ordinary and I was, I was putting it in the certain places where I felt was darker in my skin. So I would put my, the Ordinary concealer under my eyes round um my whole of my eye socket round here i would go across my forehead where i have my what they call these frown lines i used to um also put them on here round here on my smile lines and my avia and then so i would just be concealed in certain areas of my face and then i'd go over the top with the laura geller oh my god amazing it just looked absolutely flawless i have had so many compliments including from my mum and my auntie saying what makeup are you actually using because it just looks flawless it covers over the lines of your eyes i have got a lot of lines under my eyes although you can't see it i do have a lot of cross feet i do have a lot of underline i do have a lot of lines on my forehead i do have smile lines and this is just absolutely amazing now like i've said guys i do have the ordinary on today now i would probably go over the top with my powder i have started using this guys bearing in mind but i'll put it back in the box so you can see what it looks like as a whole so this one it looks like empty i can now dispose of that because i wanted to keep it for this purpose and so i bought the porch lid. it comes in this box and then it comes in a wallet like this and then exactly the same and at the back it will say baked balance and brighten foundation in porch lid. So it looks identical little heart on the front and then inside there's a little compact mirror which is pretty useless to me so i don't use it but this is what it looks like guys so it's got like a marble effect on it um almost like any kind of compact powder i suppose but this one is obviously a bit balanced and brightened so it has this this sheer i don't know what it is guys it's absolutely amazing i will show you at the end what this looks like but this is what it looks like in the pack now if i was to just swatch it now my mother-in-law swatched it she tried it on her skin but she's very very dark skinned my mother-in-law i mean she's probably got olive skin same as my husband this is what it looks like and it's not can you see it's not fallout it's not powdery in that sense where you're like oh god it's dropping everywhere and then can you see how it just leaves this really nice shimmering glow and it is amazing it is full coverage guys it is absolutely amazing and it leaves you with this really nice glow on your skin i just think it's it is my go-to now guys i have kind of ditched my liquid foundations now because i'm just I just put this on my skin it's faster it's easier i use this um brush that i can't remember what the brand it is unicorn cosmetics i think it is um and i just use this and it's just literally just a good powder like that i don't want to waste it and then swipe it all over the skin i go under my eye sockets with it under the eye i could bring it all the way down my hink i think i'll put it just here now because i don't have to do that i take it all the way down here guys my neck i always i always take my makeup all the way down here depending on what kind of clothing i'm wearing if i'm wearing a roll neck i don't do at all i'll just do under here i won't do here because it gets everywhere on your roll top um jumper so that is that guys i will do a whole test later and show you what it looks like on now that was that guys it was 25 pound that arrived and then aisha messaged me and she said oh my god go and have a look on qvc they've got this deal on at the minute and i think you'll benefit from it because she knew that i'd run out she didn't realize that i'd already purchased one and it just hadn't arrived yet i was still waiting for it to arrive so i went on there and i spotted the deal and i was like <gasps> and i went ahead and bought it guys now it come in a box like so like this 
Now, obviously, I've had this in my possession, guys, for over two weeks, so I do apologise for that. I was waiting for other items to arrive so I could do it as a, a haul. So for that reason, it may not be on the site now. But if it is, guys, go and check it out. I will link it down in the description box below. This is what the package looked like when I went on the QVC. Um, and I was like, oh, my God. So it's called the Laura Geller Face It All four-piece makeup kit. Now again, Aisha, thank you for this. She did actually shout me out and told me about this. Um, I do think she went ahead and bought it. I'm not too sure, but knowing Aisha, she probably did do. Now, at the back, this is what it looks like. I have not opened it. I've looked at it. I've not tried it, although my mother-in-law had a little swatch and two of it. But I'll keep the box just in case for a little while. But this is what it looks like. So here you've got the same baked foundation as what I've got. Then there's a blusher, then there's a lip product, and then there's a palette. Now, I've never tried Laura Geller's palette, but if it comes with one palette, which is this one, quite minimalistic, um, Laura Geller's packaging is, but I find her packaging is what it is, and I like it. It's it's basic. There's no fancy swip swap about it. You know, you're paying extra for the packaging. It is what it is, which is just like a cardboard packaging. So that is the palette. Then the lipstick just looks like any old lipstick, guys. Just... It's just really minimalistic, the packaging, but it don't bother me, packaging and stuff, fancy packaging. On my lips today, if you're wondering, is this MAC Chili Lipstick that I got in my friend mail from Aisha. Really, really nice. Just thought I'd just tell you that. Right, so, palette. This is what the palette looks like. It is the Detect Delectables Bit Eyeshadow Palette, Tasty Treats. Now, I would probably find this more of... Um, if you like your minimalistic eyeshadow look, like your beiges and your browns, your golds, this would definitely be for you. I do actually like my browns and my golds. Not a lot of people really see me wearing it a lot. That has always been my go-to since I was a teenager. I would wear more browns, blacks and beiges than any other colour on the spectrum. So for me, this is just a familiar palette. My glasses are filthy, you can see, so sorry about that. So it says, you have great taste. Create delicious eye looks with a delectable baked eyeshadow palette in tasty treats inspired by your favourite snacks. So it says, this palette features 14 matte and shimmering baked eyeshadows, plus a convenient brush and mirror. The cream to powder formula delivers beyond blendable colour in a velvety soft finish. I have noticed on the other palette that I tried, it was very velvety, very silky, really nice. Achieve flawless day to night design with one palette you won't be able to resist these scrumptious shades it says with a smooth creamy texture and intense pigments this baked eyeshadow palette is better than snack time love laura geller and it has all the ingredients at the bottom guys if you want to try that out or look that out now i can't tell if this is vegan but knowing aisha uses it it will be vegan and cruelty free Without a doubt, it's Laura Geller. I'd imagine it is anyway. Right, so there is a full-size mirror along here, guys. I don't have anything to cover it up with. Two minutes, guys, so I don't want to blind you. Right, so here is what the palette looks like. So I'll let you just have a, a good look. Does that look amazing, guys? And then there's a brush underneath that. Quickly, I'm just going to put my glasses back on. There is a cover, but I've... My mother-in-law had to have a little dig, so <laughs> I did take the cover off for her. So it says here, coconut cluster, cookie dough. Doesn't actually smell of them though, guys. Almond nugget, roasted pecan, caramel candy, hot pretzel, chocolate chip, peanut brittle, candied pistachio, brownie, sour straw, cinnamon bun, trail mix and dark truffle. Oh my God, they sound amazing. Right, and here is the brush that comes with it, so... Two-ended brush. That, I like the the angled brushes. I know that you can use that for eyeliner, but I actually use that to define where I want to take my eyeshadow up and then colour in. I just think it's amazing. So the brush comes with that. And then if I was to just swatch, I'll swatch a matte and I'll swatch a, a shimmered one. Because I don't know if I'll have time to test this palette today, guys. But I may come back and do a full facial look. Oh my God. It's like rolling your finger on a natural ball. It's that soft. No fallout from that. 
Oh, I like that. Right, I'm going to go with the shimmer, guys. Whew! Oh, my God. Just check them two colours out. That's just them two colours. Let's just have another swatch. Let's have a look at the gold. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I'll go with another matte. Let's go with... Oh, let's go for this light candied pistachio. No fallout. Oh my god, that is amazing. Well, it doesn't smell like the treats that it's supposed to be. That would probably be an added extra if that was the case. But that is what they look like. Oh, silky, soft, amazing. So that is that palette, guys. I may get time to try it. If not, I will come back today and do and look with it. And it will be on probably the following week after this video goes on. So that's that, guys. Then, obviously, the foundation is exactly the same as what I've already got. So, it says baked and balanced can glow illuminate in porcelain. So, you can see that they are identical. They just look slightly different in the packaging, but they are identical. Oh, no, hang on. No, there isn't. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the Baked Balance and Glow Eliminating Foundation. So this one's got a highlighter built into it. That's the difference, guys. All right, because I actually did explain this to me. So this one has got a built-in highlighter with it, guys. That I know. And this one isn't. This is just the Baked and Brighten Foundation. So they're actually the same colour, but two different ones. Let's have a look at the difference then, guys. Let's see if there is any difference in the way... It looks, yeah, there is a massive difference actually. So this is the Brighton and this is the Glow. Can you see a difference between the two? Right, so that's, that's, I'm getting confused which one's mine now. Right, that one's the one from Thingy. Let's try this out then guys and see. <gasps> oh, we've got to compare guys, we've got to compare. Go compare. Massive difference there. Okay, so this is the one that I had before, and this is this one. You can tell there's a total difference between the two. One's quite light, and one's got a highlighting shimmer towards it. Can you see? Now, that is, I'm just blown away by that. I'm so glad. So I've got a built-in highlighter, so I could actually just use this, and then just use this to highlight for now. And then when this is gone, use this as both. Now, this is the blusher, and when I opened it, I was like, damn, that looks a bit red. I know I like red and all, but that looks looks a little bit too red. So, let's just... Oh, it's actually quite rosy. It's quite nice, actually. And if you work on it and you blend it in, oh, that is lush. So, guys, what I may do... Because I'm not going to have time to do it. It's already 23 minutes long. I'm going to do a full face of Laura Geller. Obviously, I'll have to put different mascara on and eyeliner and stuff like that. But we will do a full face using this palette. This, this, this and the lipstick. I promise I will do that next after this video, guys. And then you get to see it either a few days after or a week after. Now, here is the lipstick. So I won't try the lipstick today. But this is what it looks like. Um... I can't remember if it said the name of it because I did look, but it's too small writing. It just says Laura Geller Jelly Balm Hydrating Lip Colour Preserve Your Pout. It's a three gram. It says this pillowy balm like texture nurtures your lips with intensive hydration and leaves you with a perfect pout. Love Laura Geller. And then it gives your pout a taste of perfection when lipstick meets lip balm. The result in our moisturising jelly balm coat your lips with juicy colour that conditions at the same time. Nourishing ingredients like vitamin E and squalane soothe, soften and plumps your lips with one swipe. Free of parabens, mineral oil, gluten, sulfates and, I can't say that word, fusillates. Yeah, so let's have a look at the colour. Oh yes, look at that. That's like a brownie red colour, more of a brown. Right, let's have a quick... Ooh, ooh, I like that colour. Oh, that's... that. Mmm, it smells yummy as well, guys. Okay, okay. Now, I know I should want me to test all this today. I won't have time to do it today. But I will do this next, guys. So I will do a video next with all this. Or if not, 
if not next i'll do it tomorrow so i've got a blank face so we can start with a blank face if that's what you want tomorrow we will do that we will do that moving on guys quickly because otherwise i'm going to keep you here forever i did a few orders i ordered from um just my look I got like shampoo and conditioner. I've already started using it, so I'll put that in there. But I grabbed some more concealer. So I bought the Camouflage Essence Concealer because I'm just going through concealer like nobody's business. I've just gone through a whole one of these as well, which is your Last Imperfection. Oh, I'm getting makeup on me. Last Imperfection um, Concealer. I got this, it's a 16 hour wear. I think I got Biscuit, yeah, which is one of the lightest ones. And this one, it says Waterproof Tattoo Covering. Oh, that's interesting. And it's a matte concealer. Oh, I didn't know it was tattoo covering. So it's a little do for like this. Um, shall we test that theory out? Tattoo covering. Oh, a couple of layers of that would hide your tattoo. I mean, that's my, my tattoo that I got. It was matching Jackie's tattoo, my best friend that passed away. It does cover it, a couple of layers of that. Now there was that concealer, um, I forgot what it's called. I've still got that. That covers up tattoos as well. So that was that guys, really inexpensive, 159 or something. So that was that. And then obviously there's the collection concealer, which has got a really small doofer, but it, it spreads, it lasts quite a long time, this one. So I do like that. So that was that guys. And that's all I got from there. Now, moving on. I ordered from, no, ASOS. Now, with my ASOS, I did say that I ordered two, that was it, ASOS. So I got these two from ASOS, which is the Revolution Conceal and Define. I got a light colour in this as well, because obviously I only use light shades. I do have a lot of dark shades still left um c o point seven now it's sealed guys so i'm not going to open the seal because i don't need to start using this just yet i think i've got about eight concealers brand new sealed because i'll bulk buy for the year guys when it comes to concealer and foundations and then i don't have to worry for the rest of the year um this is why i don't need to buy any more makeup now but if they do have any more laura geller i will go back and get some more so that was really inexpensive guys i think that was was it 4.99 or something i think it was five pound or something and then i also picked up this one which is the nyx hd um nyx hd studio photogenic concealer um cw01 so as you can see and again this is it's packaged i don't want to open it so i've got i've got four concealers there already and i've already I'm at the end of my ordinary now, so and I've used the rest of my collection. I've thrown that in the bin. Now, that was them. And then I ordered from JD Williams, guys. So the next lot you're going to see is from JD Williams. So I was looking for this because I've already got this already. Oh my god, let me just tell you, before I go into that, let's go into this. So I picked up this, it was it was on sale for £4.50. So I just grabbed it, and it's the um true match L'Oreal. And it's corrector concealer. Um, they only had this shade, guys. So I couldn't choose a lighter shade. So I just went for this shade, which was... But it's a concealer corrector. But it's still pretty light, as you can see. It's still light. Um, again, this is sealed, so I won't open it because I will just use one at a time. That was £4.50, guys. I don't know if that's still on there, but if it is, I will link it down below. Now, I actually have nyx already on my eyes because i've already bought this i bought it from boots just to test it and see how it was and the minute i started using it i was like renaissance pen Pew! i've not used um my renaissance by revolution since and that was my go-to eyeliner i've tried all the high-end ones and none of them have really done anything for me i've even tried kvd this is brilliant guys now i've been asked on tiktok what eyeliner i use because everybody's saying it's flawless and they've asked me to do a tuition on there but this one is the nyx epic eyeliner um and it's got the diamonds i'm not going to open it guys because i've already got one on the go at the minute but i've got to tell you it is amazing it is amazing it doesn't leak everywhere what i find with a renaissance pen that when you come into the end the ink leaks out of it and it drips out in it like a big dollop of it and i've had that on my claws and i can't get it out so i'm a little bit miffed at that but there is the renaissance here 
I've got two in it, so on the pen still on the go. I may just continue using them until they're all gone before I dive back into this one. But 10 out of 10, guys, I've got to tell you, you want a review? This is what it looks like. Can you see? This is my, my tick. That has been done today with that. Sometimes when you do use, sometimes I make a mistake, I put my eyeliner on, do, do my eyeshadow after, but it goes over the top of the eyeshadow perfectly and it covers it. I think it's really good and I've gone slightly underneath because it's so easy to manage. Moving on to something different. Now, it's coming into summertime guys and summertime for me, I tend to like to get my skirts out, my shorts out. Although I have gained some weight, I am now losing. I've lost half a stone already guys. I've got to lose another two and a half stone. So that's good going. If I can at least lose another stone and a half before the summer month starts, I'll be happy. I can get my legs out. I don't particularly like getting my legs out, but do you know what? We are the shape we are. Embrace it. Stop hiding it. Stop feeling ashamed about it and just work with it. Yes, I know I'm losing weight, but I'm not losing weight for vanity. I'm losing weight because of my back. Any extra weight I have on me, I get when I gain weight, I get bigger on my boobs. I don't know why that is, but I do. And I get bigger on my hips and my tummy and that extra weight on my back increases pain so for that reason i want to try and lose that three stone so i can get back to managing my pain a little bit better than what i am at the minute but this is amazing i've been using this since i was 16 years old guys my mum got me into this i started watching her spray it on her legs and i was like oh god what's that you're using mum it looks really good um you can use your hands or you can use a mitt um i tend to just use my hands because i find when you're using a mitt a lot of the um, product soaks in on the mate. So I do use my hands and I just wash my hands straight after and it does not stain my hands. So that's good. So this is the new look. What, what am I looking? I think there's a, it's a new look, so it's a new bottle. And it's Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs Legs Makeup. They come in all different shades, guys, but I went with this kind of shade because I do like my legs to look more of a natural brown. Um medium glow i went for this one spray on perfect legs application aerosol and it is literally just an aerosol i always wipe down the container as well because obviously i'm using my bare hands so it gets messy on it and i do wipe it down with a normal wipe but that was i think that was 9.99 guys they rimmed they vary around 9.99 around 14.99 depending on where you get it from I used to buy this religiously from the um, Super Drug Savers in there. They do sell that in there. So Savers as well, if you want to save a bit of money, they do sell it for $8.99, I think, in there. So that was that. Then, guys, I treated my hair because my hair has not been cut for three years. I am booked in for the 11th of May. I'm having a new cut, a new style put in. I'm keeping the red because I like it. It will be all red because i'll be ending up cutting out the black so my hair will just permanently be red i think i'll just keep it red to be honest with you for now until i'm really fed up of it and then i will just get rid of it but while i'm doing my roots i'm always going to be using box dye even if it's just black because my hair goes gray at the minute my roots are going through as brown so it does cover with the red that i use which is the l'oreal l'oreal I've got the name of it now but i treated my hair to some stuff guys so i picked up the beauty works luxury hair they do hair extension in beauty works they vary around 100 to 150 pound i don't need extensions i don't want extensions i i can't be bothered with extensions they actually do shampoo and conditioner on jd williams as well 12 pound each or you can buy the whole package these two items that are in here shampoo and conditioner for 54 pound 99 i did send aisha the links last night because she wants to know where i got this from not tried it it came yesterday this is why my video has taken as long to do because i've been waiting for this to arrive so in a really nice box i've actually pulled the tab off already and then it comes like this and it was all bubbled with bubble wrap in there guys and then you got your two products there one here and it has here warning to avoid suffocation get rid of this bag please be advised product is not returnable if this package is opened as you can see it looks as if it's leaked but it hasn't because it'd be all over the packaging so once you break the seal you can't send it back guys but i ain't sending it back so here we go oh my 
god look at the size of that now i use a hair serum on my hair i've used the john frieda i still use the john frieda at the minute and i'll just use a normal i tend to really gravitate to um the moroccan oil one but i've used all that now and i need to buy another bottle which is 30 quid so I'll probably wait till near the middle of the, the year and then I will buy the Moroccan oil shampoo conditioner and the hydrating mask and the oil and that will probably last me until next year now. But I thought I'm going to try Beauty Works because the reviews on this was amazing and that's what gravitated me towards it. My glasses are so dirty. Two minutes guys, let me just give them a clean. I get new glasses this year so I think I'm going to go for some designer ones this year now that I can. Right. So it says Beauty Works Argan Serum Daily Treatment, 100% vegan, free of parabens and S, SES or SLES and all that. All right, use on wet hair, but you can use this on dry finished hair to style it. Make sure hair feel nourished and like new. Oh, and it's a pipette one as well. Mmm. Mmm. That is, ooh. I just have a... Just have a little try guys oh i like serum oh it smells nice guys so as you can see it's quite oily but i do use serum on wet i put a little bit on my wet hair guys and then i will put it on dry and go over it with the straighteners especially over my side fringe and over the top of my head where all my split ends are all sticking up as you can see the red's coming off my hair because i've not washed it out properly but oh that is lovely wow now i bought these separately guys so i think this was 9.99 and this one was 12.99 but you can buy the bundle if you want so that's that guys really nice i may have to try that so again it comes in a bag like this and it says exactly what the other one said oh it tells you the price here on the invoice so um i got money off as well guys oh this should have been 13 pound i think that should have been 14 pound guys and i got money off both because i got vouchers right okay we've, we've established that all right oh big bottle so this is beauty works professional 10 in one miracle spray the reviews on this were astonishing i didn't see any bad reviews at all and I've searched on other platforms to see what the reviews like on there because they do sell this in other platforms, beauty shops and stuff. And I was like, wow, I took my glasses off and I need to keep them on. So it's a 10 in one miracle spray. It says delivers 10 benefits, eliminates frizz, which is what I like, restores shine, nourishes, replenishes oils back in your hair, protects from heat, detangles, sack many to use this conditions prevents split ends enhances natural body repairs dry damaged hair and a daily oily treatment 10 there you go inspiring enhancing creating beauty he says expect expect her to shine and become more manageable the more you use our secret formula treat your hair to beauty works 10 in 1 miracle spray in 250 ml and it says here, method of use, spritz daily onto damp hair and just distribute with a detangling comb. I don't wash my hair daily, guys. I only wash my hair once a week. So I will try and put this on and let it dry naturally and then go over it with the um, straighteners. It says, a multitasking hair treatment that tackles um, a common concerns. This formula works, nourishes, repairs and protects your locks during a heat styling. Fortified with argan oil and macadamia, the inert, innovative—I can't say this word—innovative formula replenishes lost oils in the hair and helps to eliminate frizz, restores mirror-like shine, and prevents split ends, as well as a conditioning hair. This handbag-sized hair care essential is formulated to maintain, protect, and restore the health of your hair. That's not a handbag size. <laughs> Unless you've got a big shopping bag, they do do this in a small size one, guys. So maybe they're thinking it's that. But this one is is the big one. This is the biggest one you could get, which is 250 mil. I may get a handbag size one um, on the other deal and get the shampoo and conditioner and try that as well. So that is that, guys. Um, in the box, it says here, there's no planet. Please recycle or reuse this packaging and help us to be a part of the solution. There you go, guys. That is that. I'll put my receipt in there 
so that is everything for this video today guys i will come back and do the other one it is getting dark so i do need a little bit of light to do any makeup and stuff i may come back and do that tomorrow when it's really nice and bright again right so that's that so thank you to the moon and stars aisha for giving me the the heads up on these items because oh my god absolutely amazing so you've seen how they were on there we'll get it on our face tomorrow guys and see what it looks like all right so before i wrap this up guys i just want to say a big thank you to star nights she's star nights on youtube i will link her down below if you want to go and check out her channel she's actually on tiktok and um she sent zach sent this on tiktok and wanted one and um I said, where did you get it from? Because Zach wants one. I will pick one up for Zach. And she said, um, um, she got it from Amazon, I think she said. And then she messaged me and said, don't get one. I'll get Zach one as a, as a treat, as a thank you. Uh, it has three different settings on it, guys. So as well as that. Can you see? And then obviously there's a little ball pipette thing inside that you press to get the, like the air goes up and then makes the ears go up so that's that guys so thank you to star nights for that zach absolutely loves it and i sometimes borrow it for tiktok i think star knows that um i i am going to be sending some friend mail to star nights just to say thank you for this but until i can get out to the shops i can't pick up what i want to pick up but thank you for that star nights please go and check her out on youtube if you want guys i will link her down below or if you want to go on tiktok go and find her on tiktok because she does really nice creative content all right, guys, take care of yourself and I will see you tomorrow or next week, whichever, to do the Laura Geller makeup testing. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.